On a hot and dry desert, there are two men breaking into a well for water. Unfortunately, one of them gets shot to death right away. What makes the water so voluble? How could this man kill people over a little water? This is Movie Shortens. Let's find out the answer in the following movie titled Young Ones. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the future, droughts take place everywhere on Earth. Water has become the most precious and dwindling resource on the planet. People even kill each other for water. While everybody has left the town as quickly as they could, the homes decide to stay. They are the father Ernest, his son Jerome, and daughter Mary. Ernest believes the land will grow once more as long as there is irrigation. Every day, Ernest and Jerome have a donkey deliver supplies to the watermen, trying to get a deal of water pipes leading to his land from the wells. These men extract water from deep wells through government deals. On the way carrying water home, the donkey breaks its legs. Ernest has no choice but to mercy kill it. The father and children have lunch with some packed meals. Mary doesn't get along well with Ernest because he has prevented her from having a relationship with her boyfriend. Mary does the dish washing with soil, which apparently is ideal way to deal with water shortage for a long time. At night, Mary usually sneaks out to hang out with her boyfriend. Ernest and Jerome have tried to stop Mary, but the girl falls in love so deeply with that boy. The following day, Ernest and Jerome head to a local fair to join an auction, where they buy a robotic machine after the death of their only donkey. During the auction, Ernest beats the offer from Flem, who is also Mary's troubled boyfriend. Flem becomes irritated for not winning the auction. After that, the father and son call the machine Sim. The two take Sim to the hospital to show Jerome's mother. She becomes paraplegic after an accident and is nursed in a specialized facility. Ernest has been working hard to afford the care for her and the children. On the way home, Ernest stops by to get hydrated from a water station. He also buys some water for the beggar family Robbie when seeing them plead for water at the station. The wife tells Ernest that Robbie intends to sell the baby as they can afford to raise him. Ernest then tells Robbie that if the family needs water, they can come over. Do not sell the baby. Several days later, Flem rides a bike to see Ernest, expecting to borrow Sim. Ernest firmly tells Flem that he can rent or borrow Sim provided that Flem has his father's guarantee. Ernest has no trust nor interest in Flem, and this gets worse when Flem tries to hit on Mary. Flem madly rides off after Ernest's refusal. On a daily routine, Ernest and Jerome try to dig in a pit to find a working well. Jerome never has a girlfriend nor friends as he has to support Ernest to provide for the family. Ernest tells Jerome that he actually worries about Mary more among the two children. The father and son have some playful fake fights together. Driving home, the two see Flem riding backward, knowing that Flem has just seen Mary at their house. Later, Ernest and Mary again have a quarrel over Flem. Mary asks why Ernest has to punish her for being happy while Ernest argues it's to protect her instead. Mary loses her temper, yelling at Ernest that she hates him and Flem is her only close one. Later, Mary is locked into the house by Ernest. The father finds himself helpless and he starts to drink alcohol. One morning, Ernest and Jerome find Sim is gone. Ernest immediately rushes to look for Sim. He is pretty sure that the thief is Flem, as he is the only one attempting to take Sim away. After talking to Flem's father, Ernest approaches the wells. While looking for Flem, Ernest is hit in the face and becomes unconscious. When Ernest awakens, it turns out the watermen think Ernest is a thief and was trying to steal their supplies. Can't gain the men's trust, Ernest has to fend for himself. He wins over the leader and takes the leader's knife with him. Finally, Ernest finds Flem with Sim and his stolen supplies from the watermen. Flem is then chained to the machine, following Ernest to return the supplies to the watermen. While taking some rest halfway, Flem convinces Ernest to drink some liquor and apologizes for what he has done to the family. When Ernest gets drunk, Flem takes the opportunity to attack Ernest with a rock. Ernest bleeds out badly in the head. The following day, Flem tries to create a fake crime scene by framing the machine Sim. When Jerome looks for Ernest who has been missing for days, the watermen inform Jerome about Ernest's death. The family aggrieves for the death of the father. Jerome tries to destroy Sim for killing his father, but Flem stops him. Later, Flem becomes a trustworthy member for Jerome and Mary. Flem convinces Jerome that he will help the family to continue Ernest's lifelong dream, which is to get water to save the land. At the wells, Flem draws the leader's knife, which Ernest took away the night before he was killed to threaten the leader. 
Flem accuses the leader for being a mysterious party of Ernest's death. The leader has to deal with Flem to avoid unexpected legal issues. Later, Flem becomes a hero for the whole town as he can obtain irrigation from the watermen. Flem also gradually gains the trust from Mary and Jerome. The farm becomes fertilized as soon after that. Mary is now pregnant and married to Flem. They have a wonderful wedding after that. One morning, there are some bankers arriving at the farm. Flem learns that Ernest had a heavy debt from the bank earlier due to the irrigation plan for the family land. Now seeing the land is productive again, the bank wants to regain the ownership of the farm. To earn the money to pay back the bank, Flem tricks Robbie to sell his son without his wife's consent. Flem intends to sell Robbie's son and Sim at the Black Fair. However, Robbie has a second thought about it. He requires Flem to give the baby back. Unfortunately, Robbie gets shot by a buyer. The machine Sim also gets lost in an altercation between the buyers and Flem. Several days later, Jerome questions Flem about the disappearance of Sim but Flem says that selling Sim away is the only solution to save the farm from the reposition. Mary is quite happy and satisfied with Flem's decision, while Jerome becomes more suspicious towards it. Meanwhile, the limping machine Sim finds all the way to get back to its manufacturer, Calvin, who lives across the border. The man then tries to contact the homes for the machine. Meanwhile, seeing Robbie's wife is holding a baby doll, Flem takes Robbie's wife away, avoiding her to mess up his plan. After hearing from Calvin, Jerome, though angry at Sim for his father's death, still wants to go to Calvin place and look for Sim. Several days later, Jerome takes a transport bus, heading to the border. It is full of poor and sheltered people here. They are considered terrorists for fighting back against the government's water regulations. Therefore, Jerome has to prove he is not one of them. However, Jerome is only 14 and a half. The guard refuses his entry to the city. Thanks to the help of Anna, the girl Jerome has a crush on, Jerome can make it cross the border in a chicken truck. Finally, Jerome meets Calvin. Calvin takes Jerome to his factory where Sim gets fixed. Calvin also reveals that the machine actually has a laser sensor that behaves like a rudimentary video recorder. Curious about the machine's adventures, Jerome replaces some of the recordings and the machine and sees his father back. While being emotional, Jerome accidentally hits a recording that uncovers Flem's murder towards Ernest. The boy is shocked and angry of what Flem did to his father. Arriving home, Jerome has a plan to avenge Flem. Jerome asks Flem how Sim finds the way home after being sold for the debts. Flem then gives some vague explanations, which irritates Jerome more. The day after, Jerome arrives at the hospital to see his mother before carrying on his plan. After that, Jerome lures Flem by sending a letter from Robbie. The following day, worrying that Robbie reveal about his dark plans earlier, Flem gets to see Robbie as appointed. On the way looking for Robbie, Flem falls in a pit and breaks his leg. Flem calls out for help but no one arrives. At this time, Jerome, who has been secretly following Flem, appears. The boy then accuses Flem for the death of his father. Knowing that Jerome has found the truth, Flem tries to convince Jerome. He pleads with Jerome not to kill him, reminding about the expecting baby with Mary. However, Jerome has no mercy over his crime and pulls the trigger right in the head of Flem. Later, Jerome decides to keep secrets about what happened with Ernest and the death of Flem, especially to Mary. The sister and brother stay at the farm, preparing to welcome the baby. They also plan to bring their mother back home to take care of her. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.